Hi, I'm Joshua Farley. And I'm Marcus Soto. And this is Inside Our Industry. Where we share weekly insights on everything to do with the electric and solar industry, contracting, and best practices. Hey, we're gonna talk about solar leasing versus solar financing. Not, we're not gonna talk about how to buy solar and what the options are. We have a video for that, but we're gonna talk specifically about what the differences are between a lease and finance. Isn't financing just, isn't that like a broad? So loan versus lease versus finance versus lease? Financing to me sounds like you're getting a loan. So we offer a loan, but we don't offer leases. So when you're buying solar, you can buy a bunch of different ways. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah. We're gonna talk about loan versus lease. Solar companies will have one or both of the options, yep. typically. Although we didn't have either option when we first started solar, but hey, you know, it was years ago. Like, Luckily, these loan and lease companies do some background work to make sure that it's credible companies that they're giving these options to. Oh, for, for sure. You got to be a reputable, profitable mm -hmm. organization that's not going to just steal from clients. And um, the, the biggest <clears throat> difference when we talk about getting a loan for a system and a lease for a system is who actually owns that system that's on the roof. So when you get a loan for a system, you're... Tell them, not me. On the podcast. You yeah, but I already other. know. <laughs> Don't you talk about them? I mean, talking to you. you can, but we're like, oh. it's okay. It's more, sometimes it's so more, guess, it's more intimate. <laughs> Let's talk to them. We're getting better. <laughs> so the biggest difference between a loan and a lease is who actually owns the system. So when you get a loan for a system, you're actually purchasing the product and the services from the company and you own that product and service. Yeah. Whereas when you get a lease, the leasing or financing company actually owns that product till that lease is actually paid off, which is usually a 20 or 25 year lease on those systems. Right. So it really depends on your financial situation. What's best? You, you know, you choose what's best for you. So there are some scenarios we want to go over. Like my family recently bought a new house and we moved. The house that we bought had a solar lease on it and it had liens on the property and the homeowner didn't pay the lease off. We had to assume that lease in order to purchase the property. Yeah, so when that happens, the new home buyer actually has to qualify right. to take over that lease. Right, so it was a problem for them on that house, I think, and, and you know, we have, have, it was on the market for a long time, but I know the industry, so it didn't bother me, you know. I signed it over. It did hold up title. It did hold up our closing and it was a pain in the ass. And I had to assume that lease, which I didn't want to do because I don't want to, I don't want to pay somebody. I don't want to borrow. It's like, we might as well just have a, I just might as well pay my utility bill. It's like a, right, right. It's like a separate finance. <laughs> right. Now that you owe, it's a separate debt that's owed to a new home buyer when there's a lease <clears throat> on that system. We signed it over to us, we, we moved in, we paid it off, and now it's ours. But buying that solar out was a pain in the ass. And they didn't have a good process for it, and they had a, a weird structure, rate structure, as how the payout would cycle down over years. I don't really know what happens at the end of a lease when, when it comes to fruition, but I remember when they were selling them, and they sold a ton of them here for a while, mm -hmm. Um, that they were telling you, they were telling customers, and we've heard this a, a lot, that when the lease is up, you can buy it for a dollar. Buy it out, a one dollar buyout, yeah. If any of you guys have experienced a one dollar buyout, let us know in the comments. If you had your lease come to fruition, tell us what happened. And some of these leasing products out there, you get feed if you pay that lease off early, which nobody wants to pay extra fees for paying off something. No, and mine was the sun power system, so it was already overpriced. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Sun Power makes a great module, but I hate their business model. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah, it is not good. The one benefit when it comes to lease versus loan on the lease side is for customers that have no tax liability at all. Right. And, and the reason is that you have to have the tax liability to be able to use the federal tax credits. And if you have no tax liability, the lease company actually assumes that tax credit and it's factored into the lease payments in one way or another. Um, and what that means is if you had a lease versus loan mm -hmm. with no tax liability, your lease payments can be lower for the same exact 
size, system size. Right. Approximately 30%, right? Yeah, well, now 26%. Not, yeah, because you're not going to get that federal tax credit right. back. So good candidates for a lease, someone that's retired that doesn't have an income, that doesn't owe taxes, uh, nonprofits, churches, schools, charities, your grandma, grandpa. Yeah. Just, just if there's no tax liability, if right, you don't right. have to pay taxes, a right. lease is probably the option for you. So on the other side, if my home that I moved into had a solar finance, he would, the homeowner could have just paid off the financing or just put it on, yeah, and put it on the total price and just paid it off or whatever. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's like, considered, it's considered uh, like a, like a, a debt on the like a title itself. holder, like yeah, a title. Um, yeah. So it holds like your mortgage holds first position, mm -hmm. and then you have your your loans on on the home. So it would get paid off at the same time you sold the house, like in escrow. I actually saw somebody comment on our video, a stranger. So that's, that's good. Comment please, because we're going to answer those questions. If you guys have any comments or we didn't touch on something specific, let us know in the comments.